Okay, question um, 18 says a line passes through the points 3,3 and 5,7. Find the equation of L1 in the form y is equal to mx plus c, where m and c are constants. We could solve this first of all. Let's represent our point. This is 3,3, and um, this is going to be x1, this is going to be y1, and the other one it says 5,7, and this is going to be x2, and this is going to be y2. Okay, now uh, to solve this question, you need to know that um, your equation of line states that um, y minus y1 over y, um, x minus x1 is equal to g, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, your g is your gradient or your slope. So, now let's find our gradient. Our gradient says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, we we'll have um, our y2 to be 7 from our presentation. 7 minus 3. This would be um, 5 minus 3. And this is going to give me 4 over 5 minus 3 will give me 2. Our g is going to give me 2. So this is the gradient. And since this, um, I'm going to call it g1 because they said find the equation of L1. So our g1 is 2. Now to solve this question, so I'll now say my y minus, my y1 is 3 over um, x minus, x1 is going to be 3 is equal to my slope, which is g, which is 2. So I'm going to solve this. The next thing I'll need to do is cross multiply. This will give me y minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, this will be y minus 3 will be, I'll open up the bracket, so this will give me 2x uh, minus 6. Okay, so solving, we'll have, um, remember we have to represent as y is equal to mx plus c. So we need to make y the subject of the formula. So y will be uh, minus 3 going over, we'll have 2x, um, we'll have uh, plus 3 minus 6. So this is going to be y will be um, 2x then plus 3 minus 6 is going to give me minus 3. So this is our y. So you can see it's represented as y equal to mx plus c, where this is our c and this is our m. Okay, so this is the solution for this. So remember, you have to know that our equation gave us um, 2x minus 3. Okay, so going to the b part of the question, um, it says... Uh, Another line, L2, is perpendicular to L1 and passes through minus 2, 3. Find the equation of L2, ii, the intercept of L2, and C says, determine the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Now, remember our L1 gave us y is equal to 2x minus 3. And our g here, our g1 was um, 2. Okay? So now, in order to solve this, let me divide the book into 2. Okay, now to get the equation of line L2, first of all, remember it says they are perpendicular lines. So if they are perpendicular lines, condition for, perpend uh, condition for perpendicular lines, condition for perpendicular, it's going to be, now, the product of their gradient, G1, G2, will give you minus 1. So once you can establish this, then you've gotten it. Remember our... Um, g1 was giving us 2. So this is 2 times g2 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, g2 will be minus 1 over 2. Okay? So now we've gotten our g2. And um, the point says um, x. It says x, comma, y. x1, comma, y1. It's going to be minus 2, comma, minus um, 3. Okay? So now we can now represent our equation, um, which is going to be um, g2 will be y minus y1 over x minus uh, x1. So this means minus half is going to be y minus 3 all over x minus minus 2. Okay? So this is what it's going to look like. So this is going to give me minus half is equal to y minus 3. Um, x, the minus will multiply the minus to give us x plus 2. So at this point, we can cross multiply. So we have 2 into y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 into x plus 2. Okay? 
So at this point, we're going to open up the brackets. So we're going to have 2y minus 6 is equal to minus x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. Minus 1 times plus 2 will give us um, minus 2. Okay, so um, further solving this, we're going to have um, um, 2y. Making 2y the subject of the formula, 2y will be equal to minus x minus 2 plus because minus 6 will come over becomes plus 6. 2y it's not going to be minus x minus 2 plus 6 will give us a plus 4. So in order to find our y we divide both sides by 2. So this is going to be 2y over 2 is equal to minus x plus 4 all over 2. So this will leave us as y is equal to minus 1 over 2x plus um, 4 over 2, 4 over 2. Okay? So further solving, we will now have our y at minus half x plus 2. So this is the equation of our line for L2. Okay? This is our L2. And you can see when you compare it to y is equal to mx plus c, you can see that your m is minus half, which shows you that your g is correct, the gradient or the slope is correct. Okay? So then the next question says, um, um, we should find ii, the intercept of L2. Okay? So we need to find the intercept, intercept, of L2 um, at where? Let's check at, okay, the x-intercept, okay? So now, in order to look for the x-intercept, you need to equate L2 at y equal to 0. So you need to perform this. So you can only find the intercept when you equate um, y to be 0 because at the x-intercept, at the x-axis, you have to make um, your y is actually um, 0 at that point. So, we'll say um, 0 is equal to minus half x plus 2. So, this is going to be equal to, taking like terms, half x is going to be equal to 2. So, therefore, x is going to be 2 times 2 where you cross multiply and x is going to be 4. So, when um, the, the x-intercept of L2 um, it's going to be at x equal to 4. Okay? Then, um, solving the last question, which says, um, determine the point of intersection of... Determine the point of intersection of L1 and L2. Okay. Now, point of intersection of L1 and L2. Remember, our L1 gave us um, y is equal to um, 2x minus 3. And our L2 gave us a minus y is equal to minus half x plus 2. Now, the point of intersection will be y, y um, our L1, L1 equal to L2. Meaning we are going to equate the two lines. So, equating our two lines, we are going to have, we are going to have, 2x minus 3 is equal to minus half x plus 2. So we're going to solve this equation. So this is going to be 2x minus half x coming over will be plus half x is equal to um, 2 minus 3 coming over will be plus 3. So this is going to be 2x. Okay, we're going to collect um, like terms here. So we have um, 2. This is over 1. 2 into 1 is 2. 2 times 2x will give us 4x plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times x is x is equal to 5. So from here, we're going to have 5x over 2 is equal to 5, which means 5x is equal to 2 times 5. So 5x is equal to 10. Therefore, our x will be 10 over 5. That will give us 2. Okay, so we've gotten the point at which they intersect at x. Now, to find the point at which they intersect at y. So, we'll say put x in equation of line L1. Remember, line L1 says y is equal to 2x 
minus 3. So this is going to be y will be um, 2 multiplied by 2 minus 3. So this will be y will be 4 minus 3 and the y is going to be 1. Okay, so now we've gotten the two points where the line meets. It's just, what you now need to do is you represent your x and your y where the two lines meet, which will now be 2 comma 1. So this is the point of intersection where L1 is equal to L2. That's point of intersection. So that is exactly how to solve this question. So they are just trying to get where, which point does the two lines meet. That's, um, you have to get the x-axis and you also have to get the y-axis. All you just have to do is equate both lines. And once you equate both lines, you will get it. So um, you can click next to stay updated for the next video. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates from us. Thank you.